my whole music journey, I would say it started, of course, as a child, having that seed planted in me of being surrounded by so much good music. My dad and my mom both have an amazing music taste, but I would say specifically my dad, I remember seeing like stacks of CDs. I'm sure when he was younger, he had a bunch of record players everywhere, but he had like, he had so much music. I can't even begin to tell you how much music it was, but I grew up not necessarily knowing who these artists were, but I mean, Michael Jackson, I always knew who Michael Jackson was, but also hearing Billy Joel and the Beatles and Earth, Wind & Fire. Like, I feel like when I was younger, my dad's music taste and just, I mean, this is how a lot of people kind of start getting into music. That's something that really planted a seed of liking music at a very young age. I used to dance and, um, my mom said that before I could even talk, I used to like make little beatbox sounds like, you know, and like I always had, I always had a beat in my head. And that's something that I always kind of just remember just hearing these songs in my head that I didn't really know how to translate. And as I got older, I was in choir and I was super nervous. I would say in sixth grade, I used to watch YouTube videos all the time of YouTubers that song, Chloe and Halle being one of them, it's been so long that they've been doing music, but I would watch them and I really, really thought I could do it. And then at some point, something, my insecurities kind of became louder than my passion. And I had a solo in choir once that I messed up the words and it was, it was so embarrassing. So I really, I kind of gave up that dream. I'm like, no, I, I can't really do this. Like, this is like a one in a million chance I'll be like Beyonce or anything. So I would say that seed kind of started being fed again in 2016, 2017 area. This is like junior, senior year of high school. And it was a collective of friends that um, we kind of started. I didn't, I didn't form the group, but I was invited into the group. And um, they really believed in me a lot more than I believed in myself at the time. And I think, yeah, confidence, like you have to end up getting, getting that for yourself. And it's something that is constantly something you have to groom. But I really, really needed that group of friends. It's Free Soul Chicago. That's F R E E S O L E. In the South Suburbs of Chicago, like I really needed their motivation, and they're all super dope. I needed that to really kind of get myself going. So we started doing these concerts in the summer at a local theater. And the first one, like we had a decent show out, but I would say I think we did maybe three. By the third one, we had that place packed. It was crazy. And that was really, I mean, I would get super nervous for those shows, but that was my practice. And just having that collective, um, I would say that's definitely where I really started that route. And then I started branching out more, performing at open mics like YCA in Chicago and um, kind of challenging myself. And I just kind of, I really, performing was something that I really wanted to be good at, especially as a dancer. I had all this experience in performance, but I didn't quite hone being able to sing and perform yet. Um, so that, I was just really motivated to just get better. And then more and more, I kept surprising myself. And then when I got invited to be on The Voice, that I would say is another thing that really, it really molded me and grounded me in my confidence and just knowing that even though some things you feel like you could never do, because I used to look at that screen and be like, I could never be on a show like that. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> But then once you get up there and you're like, wow, okay, I'm actually doing it. And you actually do it. Um, even if you mess up, you learn that you, this whole time you had this in you, something in you that you didn't necessarily know you can do. And it's always worth trying. So um, that all of that, I would say, has combined to mold me as an artist and help me. I feel like I'm still in my beginning phases at just 22. Um, it's just really helped mold me and solidify me as an artist. So I'm... It was my friends that believed in me, and then eventually I kind of took that and had that for myself. So.